a little behind the scenes today inside Geneva Airport. Are we going on time today? We will try. This one is the biggest pushback we have here in Geneva. It was so powerful with the Ember 777 behind our tuck. It's a great terrace here. That's a lot free of charge. A few months ago, we welcomed Air Force One alongside the Russian Federation version of Air Force One, so the Ilyushin. Today we see the top. Yeah. Driving me is David. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. A little behind the scenes today inside Geneva Airport. This is the biggest airplane every day come to Geneva on a regular basis. Emirates 777-300. We're gonna follow the crew. They're on the final preparation before pushback and takeoff. What are you preparing for the departure? Now we will complete the loading of the aircraft. When all the door will be closed, we will connect the pushback truck. We will pull up the jetties when all the passengers will be boarding. And after that, we push back the aircraft. I'm the supervisor of the aircraft. We are a six guy on the ramp one load controller and four colleagues uh, for the passenger boarding. My colleague is going to disconnect the rope for initial the aircraft. Are we going on time today? We will try. The aircraft was a little bit late, so we have a margin in order to go on time. This is so cool. You can see the mirror image of the airplane, and the true airplane is right here. Now we are waiting for the last passenger to be bought in order to avoid any bag research if we are missing passengers. The biggest pushback we have here in Geneva. The biggest one? Yeah, the biggest one. Baptista, Sam. Let's go. Let's go. so powerful with the Embers triple seven behind our tuck.
for uh, paint spotters. Uh, it's on the fourth floor, so the easiest way is actually to follow the sign Le Chef and then get into the elevator and press the button fourth floor. Here I am at the new spotting terrace at Geneva Airport. To be honest, I was a little tired, I was running out of juice, but I think I just got here, see all the airplane, and beautiful scenery, blue sky, green grasses. I think I got my sparkle back. It's a great terrace here. Best of all, free of charge. Anybody can come here, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., I believe. Well, Sam, what is really cool here is that you actually can see two different countries. So we're here we're in Switzerland, and on the other side of the runway and the airport, really at the limit of the airport, you see France. So you see two countries in one day. And what is amazing to me here is just the landscape. I mean, those mountains, the sky changing all the time, and the different time of the day makes it so special. I just love to come here. There you go, Sam, the Diplomatic Express or LX22 going off to uh, New York. This flight has been actually running all the way since 1947, linking both diplomatic capitals of the world, Geneva and New York. I spent a whole three days at eBay's Business Aviation Show, and then I spent an hour at the terrace here. I can tell you, Geneva Airport is quite a sharp contrast. You can see lights, general aviation, and also the big Airbus and Boeing taxi behind. And then you can also see plenty of Gulfstream, Bombardier, and Dassault Falcon top business jets. And also we have a lot of low-cost airline like EasyJet. So John, what's your favorite movement here? It must be a 747 head of states or something like that. Uh, you know what, we have so many movements here at the airport, but the one that really stands out for all of us here was when a few months ago we welcomed Air Force One alongside the Russian Federation version of Air Force One, so the Ilyushin. The local spotter must be sick of the EasyJet and the Swiss A220, but this is the highlight for me. I like the sound of A220. It's like um, an alien. It's like he's like howling, crying in the start. What's your favorite airplane you spot here? Uh, the Swiss Emirates. Emirates.
with the president of Geneva Airport. We're going to fly a little GA out of this airport to sightseeing. Where are we going today, Pierre? We're going to see the Mont Blanc. The Mont Blanc is the highest stop of the European Alps. Let's fly today. Yeah. So uh, the ground, hello, Delta Echo, Victor Echo, Charlie, Lima 1, uh, VFR to Almas, uh, outbound to your Echo, ready for taxi. Bonjour, Delta Echo, Charlie, score 4541, taxi left, holding bay, Zulu, runner 4, 1024. Look at this, Swiss uh, A220 landing, easy to everywhere. Oh, we are a little, little plane out of uh, the International Airport, fantastic. Delta Echo, Charlie, wind 34036 knots, maximum 12090 for intersection, Zulu, clear takeoff, route to Echo. Keep the take off on line zero four route Sierra Echo Echo Charlie, thank you. Airspeed alive. I'm not climbing, climbing too steep on purpose, so you can have a better view, right? Delta Echo Victor, Echo Charlie, Geneva, bonjour. Hello, madame, it's uh, PA46 uh, departing Geneva, VFR flight to Elmas. Uh, we're now passing 4,000 feet. Uh, we'll climb onto the Mont Blanc 11,000 uh, initially, and we'll advise if we need higher later. Delta Echo Charlie, Roger, so please climb below the TMA and next report to Mont Blanc. Or climb below the Geneva Charlie TMA and we'll report Mont Blanc Echo Charlie, merci. But just in front of you at 11 o'clock, you have one of the biggest uh, ski area in, in the uh, the region of Geneva, which is called Le Cat Valley. For that Echo Victor, Echo Charlie will climb to 13,000 feet and we'll do a short tour of the Mont Blanc and then we'll continue back to Elmas. I think I can see the top of the Mont Blanc. It's just, like, just in front of us, yeah. yeah. Exactly, just a little cloud underneath, I can see the peak. Yeah, that's the peak, correct? That's the peak? Yeah. That's Mont Blanc? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Pretty lucky today we see the top. Yeah, it would have been better this morning, but we shall be happy with what we have now. It's, uh, it could have been worse, and, and it's surrounded by high top clouds. And right behind the Mont Blanc, you have Italy. So for a few seconds, you will be in Italy. We just need to be careful that we don't get too close and we can continue on our climb because, you know, otherwise we'll be IMC. What do you want to do? Make a right turn and continue over the French Alps or you want to turn around the Mont Blanc? Uh, I think we we'll maybe turn around. If now, take off Eco, Eco Charlie, we're leaving the Mont Blanc area toward uh, Annecy and we are leaving as well uh, 13,000 feet and down to 5,500. Thank you. Uh, you are proceeding direct to Annecy via, via the Lake of Annecy? Yeah, we try that, take with Charlie, and we'll, we'll advise with the weather. That's not your flaps. It is okay. We have uh, 19 knots coming down, 80 over the numbers. You can see the runway is short than uh, this thing. It's not an easy runway to... No, no, you did well. Well. 